Hey friend, this is Anil. In this video, we will learn variables in Power App Canvas apps. So in programming language such as C Sharp, JavaScript, we always build our logics using variables. What does that mean? So that is mean, suppose in the C Sharp, every time if we are going to define any kind of logic, we have to define a variable. Okay, every logic, suppose we are going to calculate two numbers, then we have to define int x equals to 0, y equals to 1, whatever you want to define. And in the third variable, we are holding x plus y. And after that, we are just filling our text box 1 dot text equals to c dot to string. Okay, but in the power apps, automatically recalculate formulas as the input data change such as excel what does that mean power apps is automatically calculating formulas so if you will see over here in the excel here i have taken c equals to a plus b so whenever i will change the value the third column c will automatically calculate the same thing we can perform in power apps using the same formula so power apps will work on the basis of formula but sometimes there are a few requirement that can be achieved by variables only so i have mentioned only uh, uh, over here but sometimes only a variable can enable the experience you want so i will let you know the what is the example what is the requirement that can be fulfilled by variables only so first we will discuss about this requirement using the formula what we can achieve okay so the same thing i will do in the power apps let's open the power apps so here i'll just create canvas app here i will type the name calculate just click on create button So it will take few seconds to creating the app. Okay, so here uh, once we will tap the URL make.powerapps.com, this screen will be appear for you. So here, welcome to Power Apps Studio. Just skip this. Okay, so in the screen one, I will put two text box. The same thing we have achieved in Excel, the same thing I want to achieve in Power Apps using without variable. So we have taken two, three text box. Now, what I want to do, whatever I will type in text box one or text box two, the addition of two text box should be display in text box 3 so what i will do here the same thing i will do over here text box 1 text input one dot text text input one dot text plus text input to dot text so here should be text input actually 
by mistake we have removed this cool so now i will run it so here i will define two and here i will define three automatically you can see five okay suppose i will do it 24 i will do it 32 so the same thing we have achieved in the excel the same thing we are achieving in power apps okay so i do i i what i did here i have put it this text box and this is text box 2 and in the text box 3 i applied the formula text input 1 dot text plus text input 2 dot text so i don't need any kind of variable over here but what is the difference between power apps and excel in the power apps in excel user cannot take any action like he can we cannot put the button over here if user want to just click on the button like here if i have put it over here hi anil and click on button the same thing appearing in label so the things cannot be happen in the uh, excel right because we cannot create the button in the excel so how we can achieve this in the power apps that we can achieve only by the variables so what is the variables and which kind of variables we have to use in power apps that i will discuss in my next video the few important point i will let you know benefits using formula so what is the benefits using formula here you can see other traditional language such as javascript need create and event handler and then code for text box but in power apps no code so what does that mean here you can see here we have created a event handler over here right and in the event handler we have put it some logic some variables and we are filling text box one dot text but in the power apps what we have did we have only defined a simple logic on this text box that text box one dot text plus text box two dot text that's it okay and what is the second point we know in power apps where level one text is coming from and there is no other way to affect the text of this control what does that mean here if you will see in the text box 3 the value is coming from text box 1 and text box 2 right but but in the traditional programming language a value of label can be changed from anywhere what does that mean here if you will see the value of this text box can be changed from anywhere like we can change the value from event handler of button click we can change the value of form load so if there will be multiples event we can change the value of text box but the value of this text box over here cannot be changed from anywhere we know the we know the source that these value are coming from text box 1 and text box 2 so it is easy to track the value of text box right in the power apps but here it's a difficult to track the value of text box 1 dot text because the value can be changed from any event handler what is the third point user can remove the formula easily from label and back to its original value what does that mean suppose i don't want uh, that value should be calculated on the basis of two text box i just want to remove this so here this is the default value if i want i'll just comment it right one it it's hanging the application so 
I have just commented and put the default value over here right and from here you can see format the code and remove formatting from here as well so now if I will run this application if I will type anything sorry I have to type the number actually if I will type the number the value will not be calculated because we have revert the formula right and again if I want I can just apply it right so it is easy so this is the benefits of power apps okay so in my next tutorial i will let you know uh what is the type of variables and one more thing here you can see understand when to use the variables i already told you in that screen suppose i want i want type anything over here welcome anil hi anil and on the button click the same thing i want to print anywhere that cannot be happened without variable for that we have to use the variable so this is the example actually we we will discuss more example in later session what is the type of variables and where we can use which kind of variables so that's it for today. Thanks for watching our video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.